Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Missing Cool Kids and the Lame Dad Here Solo. And we are back here with another request, and this time we're coming back with Beat Conductor asking for Witcher's Son. And one of the ones he wants is of, uh, called Land of Snow and Sorrow. So, this I'm not sure what this is going to be like. So, so far he's been pretty good. You've been pretty good on the picks, brother. You've been pretty good so far. So let's see what you're getting me into this time. So, let's pop this up here. Get ready as soon as this wants to load. And boom, boom, boom. What the heck? Really enjoying this opening so far. I'm absolutely enjoying this song so far. I cannot very much enjoy it. Look at this right here. Nice chord selection coming through. So, very prog metal-ish rock so far. So, hard to, really hard to pinpoint who this, if this even reminds me of anyone. I have a feel it reminds me of someone, but I don't know who. But I'm really liking this, but so far, so I'm noticing that, you know, it's in a B minor, B, B flat, uh, I think it's a B flat minor, so for this uh, song right now, but I'm really loving the, uh, um, you know, uh, chords being chose. So G major, uh, minor, uh, C minor, B flat, so a B minor, and I think I heard a D, and we've got an F, and I didn't quite, but so far we're, you know, we're getting a nice, uh, nice selection of uh, chord progression here. So very nice. Dun, dun, dun. How they're playing, I love how they're playing just off setting. Again. 
All right, I'm Winterside. Why have I not heard these guys before? I get a very Nordic, very uh, kind of Viking, you know, Danish, you know, something like that feel. So Northern Germanic tribal feel to the uh, the um, the lyrics and the presentation of the song, and that it gives me that very tribal feel of that you know post era the viking uh, sa saga era so love and the progression of chords being uh, used here uh, minor 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 straight up chord a flat chord so and then uh, two straight up uh, chords again so we're, I, if, if i heard this right if i heard this right so we've got a G minor, a C minor, a D, um, a G minor again. I heard, yeah, G minor. Back to the D, back to the G. So then they go straight up uh, from F to E flat to F to G D. So I'm, I was listening to it. And they repeat it twice, and then they repeat it a third time. But instead of doing it a D, they uh, go to a D minor. So I heard, and then I, I know it was a D minor because I could hear it, and I saw the chord being, uh, the note being played on the guitar at the same time just before I got ready here. So I like how they're adding that, and that gives that, that really dark, that really chamber dark feel to it. I really love the uh, chord progression being played here. Fuck, man. Boom, boom, boom. Well, that's real. This one's got a lot of smoke in this joint. Nice solo. Keeping it to the timing and the measure and not trying to override play it. Love it. Why does he remind me of that team from, uh, from uh, Nightwish? That guitar player, the long one, him. I know it's not, but he reminds me of him. He's too tall. that uh, little uh, section right there, that measure right there, especially with the uh, drum part. So, and uh, playing his notes and coming down on the uh, cymbal, going back, coming down on the cymbal. Oh, I'm not a drummer, so I can't be technical on this one. 
I play guitar, play bass. I'm not a drummer. I can explain the guitar. I can explain the bass. I can explain the mixing. I can't explain the drumming unless it's in the mic. And so you want more technical than that? Not getting it. But I love the role or the pattern that he's playing. So, and then coming down with that symbol, how he does, just really gives it more of a punch to that song. All right, let's see if we can finish this off. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> of Opeth. I just started getting into Opeth. I only probably know about eight, nine songs by Opeth. That's who they're reminding me of, is Opeth. I've, I've just started getting into Opeth and they're actually coming up on the channel with the kids because the kids have heard two songs and like Opeth and how to what they heard. So they're coming up uh, with songs that none of us know. That's who these guys remind me of. They remind me of Opeth. So alright, let's finish this off. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Guitar player was doing, yeah. See, see him, the won't, won't, won't. <clears throat> nice, a lot of that fading uh, on the last cross channeling is just uh, a tone knob, so being played to get that up and down on the channel. Nicely done. Now, I was thinking during the song, not much to say on the production level, it's pretty up uh, uh, basic and uh. Simple what they did here. They didn't do anything overly, you know, uh, clever or smart. It's a straight up great song. So great feel to it. Great chord structure to this. Very nicely done. So I uh, love all the uh, major, the major, the minor chords uh, that they use uh, for the selection and just the regular chords and one flat that I'm hearing. So they uh, go from a, uh, instead of a, uh, uh, with the B, the B stays B flat, but instead of going uh, to a D, they go to a D minor chord afterwards, but that, uh, you know, because uh, they have, it uh, goes, I think it was, was it, uh, F, B flat, and D, I heard uh, at the end, and then when they repeat the uh, pattern, so it's back to that F, B flat, D minor, you know, uh, string at the end. Really like how they changed that up just to give the extra uh, change in the uh, feel of this song and the direction. 
And at the end of it, I was thinking, you know, just really good selection of chord, you know, and, uh, some good miking on the drum to pick up, you know, cymbals nicely. And then they go out and fade out and step fade the song out the way they do. They tone, uh, control it with the tone knobs on the guitar and bass and get a nice panning effect on there. Oh, very nicely done. Very nicely breaking done all around song. So production, note selection, all great. So, Winter Sun Yari. I've done something off of their channel once before. Or was it... No, no, no. They belong to a group that I'm in. An Arian group that I'm in. That's where it was. And Yari belongs in that group. And, yeah, so... I, Because I remember telling them Winter Sun was coming up on our channel. I saw that on there. That's why the name sounds familiar. Hey, Facebook has its uh, perks, guys. So, as usual, we like the song. I love this, so I'm subscribing. Rare do we ever do this. We're hitting that notification bell. And if you like this video as much as I like that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up uh, button on here so it doesn't hurt you. Sure helps us in the analytical department with the algorithms. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you've been returning and returning and returning, you still haven't hit that subscribe, you know what? It's time to hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button right over there. And as soon as you do, start ringing that notification bell and get our latest uploads and notifications. Until then, the Missing Cool Kids, the Lame Dad Solo, peace out.